Howdy all, this is Shane, and this is the Kalen Hot Mushroom Compressor Pedal. What's really cool about this is it's really simple to use. Some compressors out there have 15 controls and no one knows what they do. This has two, it's really simple to use. A level control controls your volume or output volume, and the compression level sets how much or how less dynamics you want in your sound at that particular volume. So if you have it all the way to the right, you're gonna get less difference between your soft notes and your hard notes at that particular setting. With it further to the left, you're getting more dynamics in your sound, but it still does squish it a little bit, which is perfect for funk, rhythm guitar, and also for country players, they also love compressor pedals. You can also use it for other styles of music as well. Great for some solos if you want some more sustained notes as well. If you'd like to find out more, head over to my website at intheblues.com.au. I'm playing my 52 reissue Telecaster with Joe Barden pickups straight into my Blues Deluxe reissue amplifier on clean. And we're gonna give this a shot, starting with a Jim Dunlop wah pedal, just to show you how cool this can make wah pedal and funk music sound. Let's give this a shot. This is my clean tone. And this with the pedal on. Now it really balances everything out and if you want to have it louder you simply turn up the output a little more. So with it back off. As you can hear with it off, it's definitely more prominent in the highs, especially with the wire pedal. So with the pedal on, you can really hear the dynamics change. Those high spiky notes aren't as prominent. It sort of brings it all back to a more of a balanced sort of level, both the softer I pick, they come up, that sort of section comes up, and the harder I pick, that sort of section comes down in the mix. It's really cool. <laughs> Try it with it off again. The back on. So I got the compression now at about three o'clock. So what's really different about using a compression pedal if you haven't used one before, it doesn't matter how hard or soft you pick, it all balances itself out and that can be really pleasing to the ear, especially for funk stuff like I mentioned. But yeah, really the higher you have it up, the less dynamic you have in your sound, the further down you have it, the more you have. And this with it off.
Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can reach out to me in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Head over to my new website, intheblues.com.au, if you want to find out more about this pedal. They're really cool. It's nice and simple, very easy to use. It's built well, and it sounds really clean and clear. It doesn't have any extra hiss or crackle in the signal, but if you already have a little bit of buzz, the trade-off with compression sometimes is it will bring up your lowest dynamic, which is sometimes a buzz, 60 cycle hum maybe, or something like that. So if you are playing a strat in a buzzy room, sometimes this can add to the noise, but generally if you're playing funk or country music, you know, and you're in a place where it doesn't buzz, it absolutely adds great things to your sound. So definitely check these out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all soon. See ya.